Okay guys, now I, prom I promised you for a while back that uh, we were gonna take a look at uh, my man cave uh, uh, where I do all my stuff and uh, where I got all my knives and all of that so uh, we are gonna do that in this video here and we're gonna try to talk a little about the passion where I got the passion from, from the knives so uh, this is gonna get fun guys now um, this is just gonna be a an un cut a uh, video that are no music or no cuts or no nothing so uh, let's go guys now a lot of you guys may think that uh, my cave is inside my house but uh, it's not i got uh, i got it all down here in the in the garage so uh, i'll see here Down in there is where all the fun starts for me. And uh, yes, you are exactly right. There are no room for the car inside of the garage. That is my place and the, the car is never gonna, uh, I'm never gonna fit the car in, in there. So uh, we are gonna have the car out here. And uh, now normally I'm gonna open the, the garage inside, but uh, I'm gonna do it from the car. Now look at this guys. If I can fit you. This is is what it all looks like inside of the garage here and as you can see I got I got a little bit of a, a back uh, obsession here uh, going on on as well You can see I got all of my different uh, kinds of uh, tactical bags here. I love when I can go out in the in the woods and uh, and have something uh, to uh, to choose from. And on this shelf here, I got some of my my workhorses, some of my fixed blades knives, and. Uh, here we got the a down under knife, Red Rock Raptor, I believe uh, they call it. This is uh, definitely one of those knives that uh, gets a lot of love uh, out in the out in the wilderness. And this is a uh, this is one we are gonna take a closer look at at some point. You also got some Condor Cougaries. And the massive beast Condor Aatrox. We are gonna take a closer look at this here, this knife here as well at some point. And Brother Warboy already did a review on this knife here. Now I'm gonna uh, order Kydex uh, sheets uh, for this knife here because uh, I have been using this sheath here a lot and it's, it's really pissing me off. It's just ignoring to, to get the knife uh, in the sheets uh, every time here. So uh, we are gonna uh, have to uh, get some Kydex for, for this blade here. So, uh, and then we are gonna make a review more with some, uh, some tactical gear guys. And one of my all time most favorite knives in the world. The Tops Wild Pick Hunter. Just such a versatile blade. I love it. And as you can see down here, we got a lot of deep edge stuff down there going on. So uh, yeah. And over here I got my I got my branded field jackets over here. I got two of them. One in green and one in desert tan. 
Now these jackets here, if you don't already have one, you should really treat yourself and, uh, and get yourself one of these jackets here. They are just so comfortable, I'm telling you. Now look inside of this. It's just like a warm blanket going on inside there. So I uh, would highly recommend you getting uh, some of these jackets there. So, uh, and some of my my fishing poles there and uh, and a little fireplace and down here in the bottom I got my my field shoes now these boots here are actually uh, the one that the Danish uh, military are, are getting. Uh, they got uh, these uh, boots here when they are, when he was uh, stationed in the, in Afghanistan. When they fight with the Americans down there, they uh, they got these shoes here. So uh, it's an honor to to have uh, so, such a such cool uh, shoes to uh, or boots to uh, to have on me. I got some of my bikes here. Now I really love to uh, to ride on my bicycles. And up here, we got some of my my ninja equipment. And my hunting bows here. This is a horseman's bow, long bow, recurve bow and compound bow, bow. You can't really see the compound bow over there, but it's this Hoyt one here. Now I absolutely love shooting uh, with, uh, with bows and uh, especially the, the more traditional bows here, cause this is really something that, uh, a skill that you have to learn uh, uh, very well before you can hit anything. So. Uh, now these up here are not. Uh, these are just air guns. I can't here in Denmark have uh, guns uh, hanging uh, like this. They have to be inside the house in a box, in a safe box that is mounted to uh, to the floor and to the wall. So, uh, but this this I can do. This is uh, my uh, air gun rifle up there, and this is my son's. And this is also my son's. And um, down here, as you can see, I got some of my real Gurkha cookeries. And uh, these cookeries here just means a lot to me. Now look at this. This is just an awesome, awesome blade here. Now I do know uh, that there are not a lot of you that uh, actually think that these uh, These cookies are, are very cool, but uh, I most definitely love them. And some more cookies down here. And down here in the bottom, we got some of my D bed knives as well. So, this is how this side of the garage is looking and this is the other side and look at this guys now a lot of you may think that the dinosaurs are extinct but uh, over here in Scandinavia they are still uh, living and this one here I took down with this only this so, but this is just a cool thing to have in a man cave. And you have seen this uh, skull here in my intros a lot of times. And uh, I know that uh, especially you, John, you love this, uh, this T-Rex skull here. So uh, I hope you're gonna get one one day. I know they are kind of hard to get a hold on over there in the States. I believe it's the States you are coming from. So, uh, but one day, one day, one day, John. And over here, I got my Hollywood collectibles knife. Now these, these are the only knives that I don't really use because uh, some of them uh, are just uh, wall hangers, but uh, 
Some you actually can use. And this is a place you all know. This is where I, I do my videos over here. And I got my, my bar here. Love to sit out here in the, in the weekend and just have a, a little glass of rum or cognac or, or whatever I want to. And on the other side, I got my TV here where I, uh, I watch uh, all of you guys' uh, YouTube videos. And I got my movie uh, table uh, knives uh, going on here on the workbench. And uh, may some of you uh, recognize this. This uh, was uh, my version of a uh, of a rainbow knife. Just a uh, a really really badass blade, guys. You can get this from the cookery house. This is just worth having. It's just awesome. And they begin here. Rambo first blood knife made from Ray Madsen. And this is uh, one we are gonna take a closer look, look at at uh, hopefully uh, next week and we are gonna make a review on this knife here. And it came with this beautiful, beautiful Michael Perry first blood sheath. The next one, the Greg Wall mission knife that we are going to take out in the field and do a test review on it out there at some point. But as I told you, I just going to have to, uh, to know this knife. Uh, have to know this knife, uh, get to know this knife here a little bit more before I'm going to do that because the construction of this knife here is not a thing that I'm used to. So bear over with me with that guys. And the Gil Heppen Machete with some Michael Perry custom sheath as well. The MK9 from Pole Force. One of my all-time favorite knives with a first blood style sheath from Michael Perry and a calco sheath from Pole Force and a kydex sheath as well. And over here we got the MK8 from Pole Force with custom sheath from Michael Perry, Pole Force sheath and Kydex sheath for that as well. And this one here, this was definitely a knife that most of you really like to see. This is a, a commando knife uh, made from uh, Daniela down in Italy. And uh, Donny B all day actually has a knife like this uh, coming uh, his way. So uh, go over there and check, uh, check Donny's uh, Donny videos out, Donny B all day, and he just got 10,000 subscribes. Massive congrats to you, brother. You definitely deserved it. And look at this beautiful sheath here. Now over here, we got some more movie knives. This one is the Muela Magnum. And this was featuring in a movie called Serum and false. I, I, I can't pronou pronounce that correctly, guys, but it, it was a cowboy movie with uh, Bruce Piersman. And this knife here just uh, it, it definitely had the, the lead role uh, in, that, uh, in that movie. This is a knife everybody knows the Crocodile Dundee Bowie knife made from Down Under knives. Now, this has one of the most comfortable handles that I have ever held in my hands, guys. And over here, we got my EDC folders. 
You got the Pole Force Mark V here. And the Pole Force Mark VII. Two awesome blades. And my fixed blades, EDC knives. The Pole Force Tactical 9 with FDE sheath. Just an awesome color. Love that color here. And the Tactical 8 with an FDE sheath. So, yeah, guys. Now, that was. That, that is where I uh, go out, out and uh, spend a lot of my time here. Now I can see if I can get almost the whole garage in one picture. It's kind of difficult. So yeah. This is where I dwell, guys, and um, this is my table down here, where I got some of my most adored knives in the world. Oh, you guys, a little bit. Now, as I told you, this is uncut. So it is a little bit bad made, but uh, you get the picture, guys. Now, as you can see, I set up all my garage here slash man cave so that everything is just easy to grab and take whenever they, whenever they, the woods uh, or the nature is uh, calling me out, so everything is just ready to grab in here and uh, ready to group. So uh, yeah guys, now um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the passion, the passion of, of knives and, and that is one thing that I have been wondering about for a long time now, my passion for 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 this for these knives here are just so unbelievable, crazy, and uh, almost I, I want to say fifty percent, no ninety or ninety five percent of the time, I have knives knives up in my head, and uh, that is also sometimes why you don't. Uh, always, uh, I'm not uploading video all the time because if I'm gonna do that, these 90 or 95 percent uh, is gonna turn out to 100 percent, and that is just too much for me. So uh, I have to get the, the, the knife a little bit, uh, give that a distance uh, sometimes because uh, it's just gonna take over my, my whole world. So, uh, but again, like I told you, my passion for this, I just so enormous that uh, and that is that is why I, I starting doing uh, these videos here so uh, so I can uh, I can get that passion out of there you know and uh, again like um, I'm sometimes wondering why where it all came from um, and I remember, uh, I remember in my childhood that uh, we we got uh, a lot of Viking history over here, and uh, a lot of Viking museums uh, over here, and we got one of the biggest uh, Viking uh, castles uh, a few miles from where I live, where there are museums where you can go over there and see. Uh, uh, swords and daggers that they had dig up uh, from the ground and stuff like that and we always went there uh, when I was a kid and um, you know that is probably where the, the passion started or maybe the passion has just always been there I don't I don't really remember but 
I remember the, the fascination of knives and swords from when I was just a little bit, little, little kid. And um, I got two of my, my most adored knives here. Now, this little knife here, this little pocket knife here, was my granddad's. And as you can see, this has just been heavily used. And when, when my grandpa died, he had a lot of stuff that, uh, that we could uh, hear, uh, that we could get from him, you know. Um, and uh, the only thing that I wanted was this, was this little knife here. I just remember when, when we were, when I was a small kid and, uh, and, and Christmas uh, and all of that, he always took this little knife here up and just cut uh, our presents uh, open. Uh, so this has a lot of meaning for me. I always ask him uh, if I could uh, borrow uh, his knife uh, to open my presents, but uh, he always turned me down because I was just too little, he said. But when I got a little older, I got my first fixed blade knife when I was six years old from my dad and this was the knife that I got. A little scout knife here and I remember when, when we got home, I, I, I remember that, that he told me uh, in the morning when I was on my way to school that uh, when I get off we are gonna go out and we are gonna buy a knife and I can remember that day in school was just the longest day that I have ever had because I just want to get home so we could uh, go and, and buy a knife and uh, and this was what we got and uh, I remember that this knife was was quite dull when we uh, when we got it so I asked my dad to make this the sharpest knives knife in the world so uh, he went uh, out and uh, and uh, and grinded this knife here, uh, so it was just unbelievable uh, sharp. And uh, I got the knife and was working on a stick. And 20 minutes after, I cut myself here in the thumb, and I almost cut my thumb off. Now it may be a little bit hard to see now because it's so many years ago, but. I actually have a massive scar here at my thumb and it was almost cut completely off my thumb here and I remember that that when we got back from the hospital um, I gave this knife here to my dad and uh, I told him that uh, I don't, uh, I, we need to wait a, a couple of years uh, before I'm old enough to, uh, to play with this knife here uh, again. And that was the time where it uh, really uh, went up for me that, that these knives here are not toys. These are dangerous weapons if you don't use them correctly. And um, and that was uh, a, a massive uh, mind uh, eye opener uh, for me, and uh, that was really there where my passion really took off because it's because that this knife here just this was the knife that that opened in my eyes for 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 what these uh, knives here are actually are, are capable of and. Uh, I bet you are a lot of kids uh, that were six, year old, six years old and, and, cut, uh, and, and cut themselves in the hand, uh, almost cut the finger off, would never ever uh, uh, play with uh, knives again. But um, this was just, it, it just made such a big mark inside of me and uh, I was hooked uh, on knife uh, from there on uh, and, and probably for the rest of my life. So. Um, that was uh, a little bit uh, history from uh, the Woodsman here. Now, um, I want to bet you that I'm not the only one 
that have such a passion for knives uh, out there. And um, I would really love to hear some, some histories regarding to some of you guys' passions. And I'm gonna leave my mail down in the comments fields below here. And, um, and uh, if you can write me an email with some history from your childhood or where your passion uh, came from or has it always been there, you know, just write your, your passion uh, history uh, of knives uh, to that mail there and I can uh, read them up here uh, at the channel uh, to share with uh, everybody else because I know that uh, a lot of people will love to hear these kinds of passion uh, stories here because uh, we all, uh, a lot of us are, are wondering why we have this passion here for knives so it, it would help other people to, to see that they are not alone in this stuff here, in this passion here that we just can't get enough of all of us. So I would highly appreciate if you guys could send uh, an email to me. I'm gonna leave the email down in the comment field as I just said and uh, give me a, a, a history uh, of your passion and we are gonna, I'm gonna share it here uh, on, this, uh, on this channel here. That could be very awesome guys. Now, as, uh, as, as I told you, my passion for knives is just uh, unbelievable. And um, I use all of my stuff in here. And when I come, when I'm gonna get old, and um, and I'm not able to to get out uh, in the woods anymore, I'm gonna hang all of these knives here up it, up at a wall. And um, and I have actually uh, now believe it or not. I'm uh, I'm writing uh, I'm writing diaries every time uh, I'm out in the woods, and uh, stories uh, stories of the knife that I'm uh, I'm using uh, out in the fields and uh, and 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 this and this stuff here are gonna be up next to the knife that I gonna that I'm gonna hang on my wall when I get older, so. Uh, so I can always go and look uh, at the knives and uh, read what I wrote uh, when I was young, and uh, and you know just just relive it again when I'm getting older. So uh, now that was about it, guys. I hope that you guys could share a passion story with the woodsman here and send it to my email down in the comments field. And uh, if it's okay, I'm gonna share the the story here at my channel. So uh, that was it guys. That is Woodsman's man cave. This is where I dwell. This is where all of my adventures starts and ends. And uh, I would definitely love also if there are other YouTube creators out there, if they can show their secret place, their man cave, uh, the place that they had have all of their stuff. So uh, yeah, guys, see you later.